Hello everyone, I'm Ron Grant coming to you live and direct from Tortola in the Virgin Islands. You're watching 284 Media. Thank you so much for the, your time. The BVI Film Commission and the HLV Style Community College recently conducted a film development workshop that was held from March 1st to the 30th. I'm joined by Film Commissioner Ms. Natalie Hodge and Lead Facilitator Ms. Enya Douglas who worked on this project to make sure that we, of course, touch base with you and share with you the amazing results of this development workshop. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Start the year off with more. More speed, more downloading, more savings, and more FIA. CCT FIA Fiber Internet gives you the speed you need to keep the whole family connected. Packages starting at $119 with speeds from 300 megabytes per second, super fast, unlimited downloads, even more reliable connectivity, plus free live streaming TV for the family to enjoy. Sign up for the absolute best fiber internet service in the BVI, CCT FIA, and pay no installation fee. Plus, get CCT Live TV for free. You deserve more. Get more with CCT. Life Unlimited. At Higher BVI, we're not just about business. We're about empowering lives. And that is because we aspire to inspire. By choosing us, you're supporting a company that believes in equal opportunities, diversity, and community growth. Our mission goes beyond profit. It's about providing HR solutions, fostering talent, and leaving a positive impact. Join us in building a better future, a better BVI. Choose Hire BVI, where your support isn't just a transaction, it's a transformation. Together, we're changing lives in these beautiful Virgin Islands. Welcome back everyone and thank you so much for sticking with us. As promised, we're discussing today all things the Film Development Workshop hosted by the BVI Film Commission alongside the H. Lavi Style Community College. Uh, ladies, thank you for your time. Ms. Enya Douglas, Lead Facilitator and Film Commissioner Natalie Hodge. Welcome back to our platform. Thank you, Ron. No problem. Thank you. You're most welcome. One of the things that I, I wanted to do was to make sure I touch base with you ladies just to recap this magnificent opportunity that allowed a broad spectrum of participants across the Virgin Islands to develop their uh, film uh, development areas in all different areas. We had a number of persons who were uh, speakers, but Ms. Hodge, I'm going to begin with you. Uh, tell us about uh, your, from your vantage point, uh, tell us about the success of this workshop. Um, thank you, Ron. I think it was very successful because we actually saw over 60 persons registered. Um, not everyone was able to make it due to the scheduling, but we tried to accommodate persons by scheduling on Friday and Saturday, and that actually gave a window, which Enya, um, you know, gave that advice to students at the college having the Friday being able to attend on Fridays. It was very successful based on the comments that we received by the attendees. We had about approximately 20 to 30 okay. that actually attended every week or, you know, they, they alternated because of, again, of their schedules. But um, the feedback that we received from them um, was amazing. It was very successful. And Wonderful. we have to thank our presenters, which Enya was one of the presenters. We had Camroy Peters, we had CJ Faison, James Bland, and of course, Sheldon Fred. Wonderful. And Enya, from your perspective and the, the community college, uh, what were you most proud of in, in partnering and making sure that this, this event uh, took place? Well, I think that our partnership really represents the future of film development in our territory. Um, we can see that the world is moving in, an, in another direction. We're in a technological age, we're in the creative age, and it's really important that our community members and our students are able to tap into that global creative industry. And seeing that happen and come to life, I was honored to be a part of that creative space and to have my students engage in skill-based learning. We pay a lot of attention to theoretical mm -hmm. learning, and I think you understand because we study similar things. Yes. And it's so important that they learn the skill set to be able to be in those spaces and make careers out of um, learning how to be filmmakers and all the elements of production. Interesting. Now, one of the things that I also love is that the number of students and participants, rather, that, that participated, they range from different levels in their career, different age groups, uh, quite a diverse group of students. Absolutely. I want to talk about some of the, the, the sessions that were covered. Ms. Hodge? 
Um, the sessions that were covered were script, um, script development, um, acting, script ideation, um, production and post-production, and I'm missing one else. No, and that's it? That's it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Wonderful. So uh, this event, of course, could not have been possible without uh, some uh, contributing sponsors. Uh, Ms. Douglas, tell us about those. Yes. So I am a lecturer in the humanities department at HLSCC. And since I started, I've always thought, OK, how can we take this to the next level? How can we start engaging in media and culture um, through skill-based learning? So uh, the college, we started thinking about how we can acquire funding and we applied to the Youth Empowerment Fund. Um, and that was through the His Majesty uh, Governor's, Governor's Office, mm -hmm. and we were successful. So we got that funding, and we used that funding towards securing facilitators for this workshop. Also, Unite BVI, it couldn't be possible without Unite BVI. Unite BVI has been instrumental in providing support in terms of technology. So the HLSCC Drama Ensemble just got access to really high-end technology so we could start creating films for even Netflix. Beautiful. So, yeah, so those are the two sponsors I really want to shout out. And obviously, this wouldn't have been possible without the BVI Film Commission. And the fact that Natalie is so involved in wanting to elevate and develop uh, skills in filmmaking. So this partnership is very meaningful and HLSCC for giving us the space and a platform to be able to give back to our community in this way. Wonderful. Now, one of the things that I mentioned in a previous interview, or you mentioned, Ms. Hodge, is that uh, this is not the beginning and end all. Uh, of no. course, this is the first of many. Uh, tell me about uh, some of the other plans the BVI Film Commission has to uh, really elevate the film industry in the Virgin Islands. Well, Ron, I'll start by saying one of the things I keep mentioning is that while we all want to see big box productions in BVI, we don't have the infrastructure to support it. So we find there are a lot of challenges yeah. where um, just recently we had a production crew of 200 members wanted to come in to film a reality show. We're not able to support that because as you can imagine, they would have to be housed across the territory. And it's important for production crews to be in the same Together, space. Yeah. So in the meantime, what we can do is help to develop the film set, the skill set of our filmmakers so that when productions do come to BVI, whether little or large, whatever size they are, we're able to help supplement their crew. And that way, you don't have to bring a 200 crew member to BVI. We can say, we have 50 persons that we can help you with. Um, and that's the, the objective. And so we're going to continue with workshops, various workshops in various areas of production, because as you can imagine, there are a number of um, roles yes. that are related to the film industry. And so we want persons to understand that and not just think, of being a videographer or in an editor. There are num numerous roles that can be considered, and so we want to bring in workshops to help develop them on every level of production. Well, thank you for sharing that. And of course, Mr. Sheldon Fred, ladies, uh, one of the uh, presenters, uh, he took some time to really put into perspective his experience, as well as to thank you for uh, involving him and making sure that he was a part of this. So let's take a look at Mr. Fred as he shares his sentiments. I feel honored, first and foremost, to be even asked to participate in something like this. Uh, I got a call from Enya Douglas over at HLSCC, who partnered with a good friend of mine, Natalie Hodge, over at BVI Film Commission. And they both started this workshop where we're allowed to give back to the local community in terms of filmmaking, acting, screenwriting. And it's been an amazing journey, an amazing ride. I think selfishly enough, it's, it's been more fulfilling for me because it was such a beautiful opportunity to be able to give back. I, I got to see people that are like me from where I'm from. I've, I've done teaching and workshops before in America and it feels good to give back, but this one was a this one was on a different caliber of, of being able to give back because I got to see kids that, this, this one person at the workshop was like, hey, I, I, didn't, I didn't know if I should continue focusing on screenwriting and acting until I met you today. 
those kind of stories just they're they're more fulfilling than any accolade I could receive honestly so to answer your question it's it's been it's been overwhelmingly amazing the love has been overwhelming those two Enya and Natalie they they set up a beautiful space where we've covered screenwriting we've covered filmmaking film and television making we've covered acting the portion that I was able to contribute to camera operating light grip like the whole set design and they've covered everything from pre-production to post-production so the best part about it is all the local filmmakers and actors that came to the workshop will be able to present a project at the end of this from start to finish so they've covered every aspect of filmmaking and I'm extremely proud to just be a part of something that's bigger than myself don't be afraid to ask for help don't be afraid to take a risk don't be lazy it is a lot of hard work if you're not going to give 110% just quit now that would be my advice my advice is if you're not going to give 110% you should just pack it up right now because it's going to be challenging and if you're not fully into it and your heart is not 110% committed to this there are going to be some roadblocks that maybe might seem impossible to get past. So my advice to them would be take those risks, continue to push forward, and don't stifle your creativity. You know what? Um, thank you for the opportunity. I just want to give my flowers to Enya Douglas and Natalie Hodge. I really appreciate you too. It's been a tough journey for me trying to get home and be able to give back to the community. I've tried in different avenues and you both have made this seamless. It's, it's, it's been such an easy journey. And you both deserve your flowers. You both work hard. You both have been trying to break open a ceiling that <laughs> keeps caving down on you. And with resilience, I just want to thank you for the opportunity and continue pushing on that ceiling. I know there's so much resistance and so much ah, rift raft would be my Caribbean tome. There's so much back and forth. Mm -hmm. But I just want to thank you both for being pioneers, actually. So, yeah, you, do, you both deserve your flowers. Enya, Natalie, HLSCC, BVI Film Commission, thank you. Ladies, one of the things that I want to pay attention to, um, Enya, is the learning outcomes as a professor yourself. Uh, tell us about that. I'm so happy you asked that, Ron. I think that it was the great thing about this workshop was that it was a month long. So we were able to measure their learning outcomes. So okay. they didn't just learn, but they were able to apply the knowledge. So what we had them do at the end of it was create a little teaser or a sizzle, sizzle reel is what we call mm -hmm. it. And so that we were able to see if they were able to cover all the elements mm -hmm. of storytelling and put to work the technical skills that they learned in the workshops. Understood. Now, one of the things that is really important is making sure that our filmmakers are not only prepared to by local standards uh, because one of the things that I think we sometimes measure ourselves uh, under the radar mm -hmm. and we, we, we measure it by a local scale and that's not necessarily how it operates uh, because in in the, the full, full scheme of things we would like persons to be able to trained, be trained enough to perhaps extend our talents elsewhere. That's Do you true. think that at the end of not only this, but the further uh, development workshops that will be coming up, our students will be more poised to uh, take their talents elsewhere? I think um, at the end of additional workshops, mm -hmm. they will be able to do so. And I think that will be ultimately the final goal is to make sure that our um, filmmakers here are able to present these workshops. But we want to make sure we bring in industry professionals to teach them. These professionals have been on set. They've produced Emmy-nominated um, 
projects and so we want to have that skill set brought in teach them the elements a lot of our filmmakers here have never been on set and so the more we cover the gamut of what all is involved mm -hmm. in film production then they'll be at the level where they themselves can now teach other upcoming filmmakers wonderful can i just sure. add to that i i agree with you <clears throat> i also think that we need to start i think in the humanities department especially we're starting to reimagine what the humanities program can offer in terms of media and culture. So yes, the workshops are bridging the gap, the learning gap, but we do need to start thinking about our future and how we tap into the creative economy here in the Virgin Islands. Amazing. Also, archiving mm. and documenting our own stories. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And we have an archives department that I'm sure uh, would agree with you with that. <laughs> uh, Ms. Hodge, I know there's some um, upcoming events in addition to what we mentioned. Uh, yes. Speak to that. So, of course, I'll go to the end of the year. <laughs> we have our um, regular film competition that will be at the end of the year, so persons can look forward to that. And one of the things we did was um, encourage the filmmakers um, attending the workshop to continue with their projects and present them at the film com Beautiful. competition. And we're hopeful that they will take that advice and we'll see their projects in, no in November. In the near future, as of um, hopefully today, I will be presenting a student film competition. We want to tap into younger filmmakers and see wh what their level, mm -hmm. their skill set is and how we can help them to develop. So I'll be presenting a student film competition. Excellent. Uh, additionally, there are some persons, uh, I believe, that uh, would be assisting uh, all the yes. time, uh, the yes. BBVI Film Commission. Tell us about some yes, of your support Yes, we, we do want to thank Blue Ocean Caribbean Enterprises. They've always supported the BVI Film Commission, as well as Sebastian's. We have a number of um, corporations and organizations in the territory, specifically for this previous workshop, Blue Ocean Caribbean and Sebastian's. We want to thank them so much for supporting the Film Commission. Wonderful. Well, ladies, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. And of course, congratulations on the success of the Film Development Workshop. I know there is much more to uh, be had from uh, both HLSCC and the Film Commission. And we want to thank our facilitators, CJ Faison, James Bland, Sheldon Fred, Camroy Peters, he was very instrumental in helping us as well. Yeah, and, Fast Media and, and Digital. Yeah. Can I just talk about oh, Fast Media Wonderful. Digital? Camroy oh. has yeah, been very instrumental in production, post-production. We couldn't have done it without him. I am sorry. Caribbean Gears. Okay. Newly established by Dame Peters. Wonderful. He, he was an attendee of the workshop for the month-long session, but he also jumped on as a sponsor and provided equipment for that um, po production and post-production workshop. So Excellent. we want to thank him Excellent. for that. Quite a team effort. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Viewers, that is all the time we have, of course. Uh, we encourage you to support the talent that is uh, through the BVI Film Commission and H. Lively Style Community College in the upcoming events that they will have in creating and curating the brightest of the next generation of filmmakers in the Virgin Islands. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Bye-bye.